Y'all, how does this happen? How does a sheriff's department accidentally share a crime scene photo? Let's get into it. On Saturday morning, followers of the Osceola County Sheriff's Instagram were taken aback by a post that included a crime scene photograph alongside a caption celebrating a community event. The caption said, Great day for seniors. The photograph, which inadvertently depicted the body of Madeline Soto, found dead in a wooded area near St. Cloud, raised immediate concerns over the mishandling of sensitive information. The former sheriff, Russ Gibson, among others, criticized the post for its insensitivity and potential violation of Florida law, which strictly prohibits the dissemination of images depicting the death of a minor. I'm wondering, is this an election year for sheriffs? I don't know. I'm just thinking off the cuff. The incident unfolded further as it was revealed that Nerva Rodriguez, a civilian employee of the sheriff's office, had, share a, had shared a personal photograph with Stefan Stearns, the prime suspect in Soto's case, on her Facebook page. This action, coupled with the Instagram post, highlighted potential lapses in the sheriff's office handling of confidential information and raised questions about the judgment of its staff. Legal analysts suggest that these social media missteps could potentially affect the criminal case against Stearns, including impacting the investigation, prosecution, and even the selection of an impartial jury. The sharing of the crime scene photo, whether intentional or accidental, not only breaches the trust between law enforcement and the community, but also opens the door for potential legal consequences. Experts, including News 6 legal analyst Stephen Kramer, suggest that the sheriff's office could face civil liability for negligence, especially given the strict protections afforded to minors under Florida law. Furthermore, the incident may prompt a reevaluation of social media policies and practices within law enforcement agencies to prevent similar breaches in the future. As the Osceola County Sheriff's Office navigates the fallout from this incident, the focus remains on securing justice for Madeline Soto. This case serves as a stark reminder of the responsibilities that law enforcement officers bear in handling sensitive information and the impact that it can have on individuals and the communities they serve. Does this make you sus of law enforcement? Do you think they should be using their cell phones, first of all, at crime scenes. That, to me, needs to probably come to an end. And whoever the person is posting on social media probably shouldn't have access to minors' crime scene photos. And just found out that, yes, it is an election year. And, yes, the current sheriff is up for re-election. He has one, two, three, four, five, five opponents. Nothing like being extra careful with a high-profile case of a minor and re-victimizing her all over again. It makes me absolutely nauseous. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, and I will see you in the next video. Be sure to check out my other videos and playlists for more true crime content. And if that's not enough, you can join our Patreon. Don't have a tinfoil hat? It's okay. We'll make you one. It's that easy. See you guys in the next video. See you later. Bye.